Hi Pom Pom fam, welcome back to the Pom Pom Bros channel. Today we'll be sharing with you how to transition puppies onto raw food. Yes, puppies can eat raw. It's so natural, just like their ancestors. While puppies will nurse on their mom until their mom naturally weans them. This usually occurs after their teeth start to hurt her. After they are no longer allowed to drink their mom's milk, they will consume from the pack. The adults will have food in their stomachs after the kill and once they return to the pups, the pups will start licking around the adult's mouth which causes the food to come back up. Then the pups will feed on the regurgitated meat. Now that we've got down to the fact that puppies naturally eat raw food, we can discuss what they should eat and how much of it. Usually in grocery stores, Cornish hens, quails, beef, buffalo, rabbits, duck, chicken carcasses, whole chickens, and fish are easier to buy. Most ethnic grocery stores will carry these different meats. We also use online sources to buy bison, elk, goose, goat, lamb, pheasant, venison, frogs, boars, and guinea pigs. You can use rawfeedingmiami.com to source these more exotic meats if you like. Any of these meats will do. I'd also recommend throwing in organs here and there. You can easily find organs at your ethnic grocery stores. Livers and kidneys are abundant in those markets and you can usually find more than that. If not, rawfeedingmiami.com has a product called Monster Mash Organ Grind, which is a raw beef organ blend. Organs should make up no more than 10% of your dog's meal. I realized that dogs who were not fed organs or raw food when they were younger may reject organs for a while. Therefore, it's ideal to feed organs while they're young, not to mention it is an essential part of their diet. To replicate nature, we want to mince the meat and organs. Just like wild pups would eat regurgitated food from the adults, we want to make sure our domesticated dogs can easily chew and digest the food. When mincing the meat, the method I went with was getting a butcher knife and just mash everything up, portion it up in Ziploc bags, and freeze them. I'd thaw whatever amount I needed in the fridge the night or morning of feeding. Feeding at room temperature would be best on the puppy's digestive system as well. As the puppy's teeth continue to grow, you can start feeding more solid foods instead of minced foods. Around 7-8 weeks, my pups were able to eat raw chicken necks without mincing. Of course, since they're so young, we want to use softer bones such as quails, chicken necks, and chicken carcasses. We want to avoid weight-bearing bones such as beef femurs until they're older. Also, taking your dog's size into consideration when choosing bones would be best. If you can, you may even get a whole prey and do this process. Whole prey means everything is included such as feathers, organs, bones, and muscle meat, which is perfect. Here is an image from www.rfas.uk which should help you estimate how much to feed the puppies. Depending on how old your puppy is, he should be eating the percentage of current weight. It may be helpful to screenshot this and use it for reference. Pom Pom fam, please keep in mind that unlike many of our domesticated dogs who were on kibble, raw fed puppies are much more instinctual. If you measure their food out correctly but they do not finish it, let them be. Forcing pups to eat too much could result in stomach upsets and bloating, even diarrhea. However, if your pups are showing these signs after finishing their food, you may want to decrease it a little bit and see how they react. This is not a one-size-fits-all, but more of a general outline on how to transition puppies to raw food. Another tip is although eating meat and bones will naturally make the puppy's stool harder, you want to make sure the stool isn't too hard and white, which is usually an indication of too many bones. All you need to do is decrease it. If your pup is having super slimy stool, it may be that there are not enough bones, so you may want to increase it to make the poop more solid. These are the guidelines that I follow to make sure my puppies are as healthy as they can be. And if you have any questions or concerns, please pop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to guide you in the right direction. Also check the information in the description for more resources. Thank you Pom Pom Fam for watching our video on how to transition puppies onto raw food. We appreciate your support and hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe, share, comment, and like, and we'll see you next week. Pom Pom Bros love you!